development in a case of a New Mexico district attorney who police let go after a traffic stop that should have led to a DWI test. The New Mexico attorney general is now filing charges against Francesca Estevez for her driving and for ethics violations. News 13's Chris McKee has been monitoring this story for the past year on special assignment. Chris? Yeah, Dean and Jess, the AG's office says the witness video from her behavior from last June shows she drove recklessly in her state-owned Dodge Charger, speeding, weaving, and driving into oncoming traffic. Uh, he's gonna go, going off. He's gonna lose it. I have a flat. Okay. And I didn't know I had a flat, and yeah, I kept going special. over and um, over. What do you think? She's over. She almost fell now, despite those concerns that officers had on that Saturday last June, they let Estevez off without any sobriety tests. She has refused to comment about what happened, but she's also denied through her attorney towards being drunk or high that she wasn't. The AG's office charged Estevez with reckless driving today, but also with two ethics violations. Those stem from conversations Estevez is said to have had after this driving incident blew up. One of the conversations was about this officer here, Kyle Spurgeon, the officer who said Estevez was loaded. A month after the driving incident, Estevez approached a Silver City Police supervisor and had this to say about Officer Spurgeon. Well, yeah, and that's what I said to him then. Of all the people, of all the rabid Nazi bigots are going to choose the police officer, he hates people of color. Now, Spurgeon has denied those comments, and the AG's office says Estevez's accusations were not based in fact that she slandered the officer for her own private interest, and that is a violation of the state's governmental conduct code. She's also charged for using her work car off-duty. The AG's office says there are also records missing about how often she used that Dodge Charger. Back to you. All right, Chris, thank you. We posted the whole criminal complaint and details on the charges at KRQE.com and our KRQE News app.